Hi, I'm Susan. The video that you're about to have a look at involves what can you do in your community now, in the past, now and in the future. When you are setting about to do things, you've got to really understand what it is you are doing them for. Now, in order to get to that point, sometimes you actually have to go way, 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 way back in, the, in your past to see what the influences are from then and how they could go now and what they're going to impact your future on. Because it's you that is now into that community. You are literally putting everything behind into that community. All your past, your beliefs, your authenticity, everything that comes from there to there and encourages transactional change to occur. Now by that what I'm meaning is that people sometimes don't know that they need to transition from point A to point B to point C and all the way through the focus until the dream of that community is actually realized. Once that is done, once your past and everyone else in that group has sorted out what it is that their trigger factors are that are holding that community behind what that group is aiming to do when that is sorted out things actually go ahead it's a brilliant method it's so simple if you want to know more keep following the posts on susanlewismarketing.com and yes through that, you'll see, you'll read a lot. It's done in incremental learning, parallel learning right down the middle, so that you see what is in the past, where it is going, and what is going to occur. And you'll enjoy it, because there's a lot of learning, there's a lot of backtracking, there's a lot of things that you want to see happening. You may not know it, it's happening. So from here, this little part here, where the gem of an idea is, to the fruition, fruition, got it, of a complete and utter thing done. It's an amazing journey. And some of the ones I'm involved with at the moment, how would you believe it? Popcorn and fairy floss for one person, so that that person can do something for the family that's coming. Another one is WHD, which is World Hijab Day. I'm helping out a community there. And another one is a spin-off from that, actually. What it is, is At Hugs, which is A-T, parenthesis, H-U-G-S. And it's, what is it? Um, I'll read it anyway. Read about at hugs. It's gearing up for next year right throughout so that the attitudes and tolerances of people towards headgear under headwear under gear, that's right, is altered a little bit so it's more acceptable. Hey, what female doesn't want to look after her hair? And why should she have to sit in the breeze to eat a piece of fish and chips and not swallow her hair. Why? Why? Another matter. Come on, come for the journey and have a look. See what happens. Catch you later. As I said, this is Susan from SusanLewisMarketing.com. Bye.